Hi, I'm back. I'll be reading the Bible from the from the Bible in in one year app. One this app for for January fifteenth, twenty twenty one. God is just and God is merciful. Psalm chapter nine verses thirteen to twenty, Matthew chapter twelve verses one to twenty one, and Genesis chapter thirty one verses one to fifty five. Introduction. Introduction. Media head media headlines frequently express outrage at judges who are soft on crime and fail to impose the appropriate penalty. For the offense committed, when I worked as a as a barrister, I noticed that the legal profession did did not did not respect judges who were who were regarded as too lenient. We expect judges to execute justice. We do not we do not expect them expect them. We do not expect them simply to be merciful. On the other hand, we do expect mercy in our personal relationships. A loving parent will will be merciful to their to their child. We expect friends to be merciful to one another. Justice and mercy do not do not normally go together. We tend to see them、uh, as alternatives. We expect. Expect we expect either justice or mercy, but not both at the same time. Yet God is both a God who judges with justice and also and also a God of mercy. How can He combine the these two apparently contradictory characteristics? The answer is the answer is that is that is that the sacrifice of Jesus. Has made it possible for God to combine both justice and mercy. And mercy. When I first encountered Jesus, the following illustration helped me to to understand what Jesus achieved for you and me on the cross. Two people, two people went through school and university together and developed a close friendship. Life went on, and they went. The separate, the separate ways, and lost con, and lost contact. One, one went on to become a judge, while the other's life spiraled downwards, and he ended up as a criminal. One day, the, one day the criminal appeared before, before the judge. He had committed a crime, to which he pleaded guilty. The judge, the judge, recognized his old friend and faced the diploma, the diploma, which. In effect, in effect, God faces. He was a judge, so he had to be just. He couldn't. He couldn't simply let the man off. On the other hand, he wanted to be merciful because he loved his, because he loved his friend. So he fined him the the correct pen penalty for the offense. That was justice. Then he came down from his position as as judge. And wrote a check for the、uh, for the for the amount of the fine he gave it to his friend, saying that he that he would pay the penalty for him. That was an act of mercy, love, and sacrifice. the The illustration is not an exact one. Our plight is worse. The penalty we face is death. The relationship is closer. It's closer. Your your father your father. The relationship is closer. Your father in heaven loves you more 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 than the, than any earthly parent loves their child, and the cost is greater. It cost it cost it cost God it cost God God far more than money. He he came himself. In the person of Jesus, and pay the penalty of sin. God is not soft on crime. In His justice, God judges us because we are guilty. Then, in His mercy and love, He He com 
he comes down in the person of his son Jesus Christ and pays the penalty for us through the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross. God, God is 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 both is God is both is both just and merciful. Psalm chapter nine verses thirteen to twenty. Bible, Lord, Lord, see. See how my enemies persecute me. Have mercy and lift me up from the gates of, de- of death, that that I that I may declare your praises in the gates of daughter Zion, of daughter Zion, and there rejoice in your salvation. The nations ha- have fallen into into the pit. They are dug. They are dug. Their their feet are caught in the net. They have hidden the the Lord is known by his acts of justice. The weak the by his acts of justice. The wicked are ensnared by the work of their hands. The wicked go down to the realm of the dead. All the na all the all the nations that forgot God, but God will ne will never forget the needy, the the hope. Other, other afflicted will never perish. A wise Lord, a wise Lord, a wise Lord. Do do not let mortals triumph. Let the nations be judged in your presence. In your presence, strike them with terror, Lord. Let the nations know they are only mortal. Commentary will I. On the justice of God, David knows that God is a God of justice. The Lord is known is known by His justice. Verse sixteen. He all he also cries out, "For mercy, have mercy, that I that I may declare Your praises." Verses thirteen and fourteen. In the psalm, the desire for justice and the desire for mer- for mercy come together. David prays that God will have mercy on him by executing judgment on his enemies. O wise, O Lord, let the, let the nations be judged in your presence. Verse nineteen. We sometimes think of justice in of justice in a negative way, as as primarily about punishment, but justice. Is also profoundly positive. In Hebrew, the word for justice M I S H P A T carries the sense of, of, of putting things right. It is because of God's justice that David can be confident that the 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 needy will not not always be forgotten, nor the hope of the. Uh, other, other, afflicted perish. Verse eighteen. Prayer. Thank you, Lord, that you are a God of justice. Thank you, thank you that that one day there will be justice for all those who face injustice in in our world today. Thank you that one day there will there will be justice for the poor and the oppressed. Matthew chapter twelve verses one to twenty one Bible, Jesus is Lord of the Sabbath. At that time, at that time, Jesus went through the grain fields on on the Sabbath. His his disciples were hungry and began to pick some heads of grain and eat them. When the Pharisees saw this, they said to him, "Look, your disciples are doing." What is unlawful on the Sabbath? He answered, "Haven't you, haven't you read what, what David did when, when he and his companions were hungry? He entered the house of God, of, of God, and he and his companions ate the consecrated bread, which were, which was not lawful for them to do." But only for the priests. Oh, haven't you read in the in the law that that, that the priests on Sabbath duty in the in the temple desecrate 
the, 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 the Sabbath, and yet are innocent? I tell you, the, that something greater than the temple is here. If you, if you had, had known what these, what the, what these words mean, I desire mercy, not sacrifice, you would not ha have condemned the innocent. Condemned the innocent. For the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. Going on from that place, he went into the synagogue, and, the, and a man with a shriveled hand was there, looking for, a re, looking for a reason to bring charges against Jesus. They asked him, Is it, law, is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath? He said to them, If any of you has a sheep and it falls into a pit, on the Sabbath, will you not, will you not take hold of it and lift it and lift it out? How much, how much more valuable is a person than a sheep? Therefore, it is lawful to do good on the Sabbath. Then he said to the man, stretch, then he said to the man, stretch out your hand. So he stretched it out and it was completely restored. Just as just as sound as the other, but the Pharisees went went out and and, and plotted how and plotted how they might kill Jesus, God's chosen servant. Aware of this, Jesus withdrew from that place. A large crowd followed him, and and he healed and he healed all all, all who were ill. He warned them not to, not to, not to, not to tell others about him. This was to fulfill what what was spoken through the prophet Isaiah. Here is my servant, whom I whom I have chosen, the one I love, in whom I delight. I will put my spirit on him, and he will, and he will, and he will proclaim justice to the nations. He will not call or cry out or cry out or cry out. No one will hear his voice in the streets. In the streets, a bruised reed he will not break, and a smoldering wick he will no he will not snuff out snuff out till he has till he has brought brought justice through to victory. In his name, the nations will put their hope. Commentary Receive the mercy of Jesus. We sometimes send parcels with the words fragile, handle with care, stuck on them. Have you ever felt in need of one of these st stickers yourself? Jesus is, Jesus is there for, for you. When you feel like this, Jesus utterly rejected the legalism of the Pharisees, verses 1 to 12, quoting and, and fulfilling the prophecy of H-O-S-E-A. I, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. Matthew chapter 12, verse 7, H-O-S-E-A chapter 6, verse 6. Justice and legalism are not the same. Indeed. They can be opposites. Jesus breaks the breaks the breaks the breaks the Jesus breaks the realistic realistic p h a r i i s a i c a l law laws by healing a man on the on the on the Sabbath in an act of great mercy love. And compassion, Matthew chapter twelve, verses thirteen and fourteen. Jesus combines justice and mercy. He fulfilled all the promises of the Old Testament about God bringing justice to the nations. Here, Matthew quotes Isaiah's prophecy, Isaiah chapter forty-two, verses one, one to four, one to four, which Jesus. Fulfilled Matthew chapter twelve verses eighteen to twenty one. He would bring justice to the nations verse eighteen C and lead justice to 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 victory verse 
twenty C. Yet he is full of mercy, love, and com and compassion. A bruised reed he will not break, and a smoldering and a smoldering wick he will 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 not snuff out. Verse twenty. There are times in life when we when we are physically, emotionally, or spiritually fragile, like a bruised reed or a smoldering wick. Wick. Jesus, Jesus continues to show us mercy, love, and compassion when we are weak and fragile. When when you are fragile, Jesus Jesus handles you with care. Jesus is quoting one of the other sovereign songs from Isaiah chapters forty, chapter forty from Isaiah chapter forty two to. To chapter fifty-five, these songs are all about a suffering servant who who will sacrifice his life in order to 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 bring forgiveness of sins. Isaiah chapter fifty-two, verse thirteen to Isaiah chapter fifty-three, verse twelve. In these sovereign songs, God's mercy and justice come together. The world is set right. Injustice and oppression are ended, and the need, and the needy and broken are set free. Yet, it is God Himself who makes the sacrifice, who bears the punishment and consequences of our sins, rather than than than, than being crushed by God by God's justice. You are you are you are set free by by it at the cross. At the cross, justice and mercy meet. Prayer. Thank you, Jesus, that you came as the suffering servant. Thank you that you enable justice and mercy to to come together through your sacrifice on the cross. Genesis chapter thirty-one, verses one to fifty-five. Bible. Jacob flees from L A B A N. Jacob heard that Laban and Potiphar's sons were saying, "Jacob has taken has taken <coughs> Jacob has taken everything our father owned and has gained all this all all this all this wealth from what belonged to our father and、um, to to our father." From what belonged to our father, and Jacob noticed that Laban, Potiphar's attitude toward him was not what it had been. Then the Lord said to Jacob, "Go back to the land of your fathers and to your relatives, and I will be with you. Be with you." So Jacob sent word to Rachel and Leah to come out to the fields where his flocks were. He said to them, "I see that your father's attitude toward me is not what it was before, but the God of my father has been with me. You you know that I have worked for you for your for your father with all my strength. That your father has cheated has cheated me by changing my wages ten times. However, God has not has has not allowed him." To harm me, if he said the speckled ones would be your wages, then all the flocks gave birth to speckled young. And if he said said the streak ones would be your wages, your wages, then all the flocks bore streaked young. So God has, so God has taken taken away your father's livestock and has given them to me. In breeding season, I once had a dream in which I looked up and saw that the male the male goats mating with the flock was streaked, speckled, or spotted. The angel of God said to me in the dream, Jacob. I answered, Here I am. And he said, Look up and see that all the male goats. And he said, Look up and see that all the male goats mating with the flock are streaked, speckled, or spotted. For I have seen all. That L A B A N ha has been doing.
has been doing to you. I am the God of B E T G L. Will you anoint the pillow and will you make a vow to me? Now, now leave this land at once and go back to your native land. Then Rachel and Leah replied, "Do do we still have any share in the inheritance of our father's estate? Does he not does he not regard us as foreigners? Not only ha has he sold us, but he has but he has you but he has but he has used up what was paid for us solely, all the all the wealth that God took away from." Our father belongs to us, and uh, belongs to us, and and our children. So do whatever God has told you. Has told you. Then Jacob put his children and and his wives on cam on camels, and he and he drove all his livestock ahead of him, along with all. The the goods he had accumulated in P A D D A N A R M to go to to go to his father Isaac in the land of Canaan, in of Canaan, when L A B A N had gone to share his sheep, Rachel stole her father's household gods. Moreover, Jacob deceived L A B A N the A R M E A N by not telling him. He was running away, so he fled with all with all he had, crossed the Euphrates River, and headed for the hill country of G I L E A D. E E A D. L A B A N pursues Jacob. On the third on the third day, L A B A N was told that Jacob had fled. Taking his relatives with him, he pursued Jacob for seven days and caught up with him in the in the hill country of G I O E A D. Then God came to L A B A N the A R A M E A N in a in a dream at night and said to him, "Be careful not not to say anything anything to anything to Jacob, either good or bad." Jacob had pitched his. Jacob had pitched his tent in the hill country of G I L E A D when L A B A N overtook him, and L A B A N and his relatives camped there too. Then L A B A N said to Jacob, "What have you done? You you have deceived me, and you have and you have carried off my daughters like captives in war in war." Why did why did you you run off se secretly and deceive me? Why didn't why didn't you tell me so I could send you away with joy and and singing to the music to the music of temples and harps? You didn't even even let me kiss my grandchildren and my daughters goodbye. You had done a foolish thing, a foolish thing. I have the power to harm you, but last night the God of your fathers said to me, "Be careful not to not to say anything to Jacob, either good or bad." Now you have now you have gone off because because you because you long to return to your father's household, but why did you steal my gods? Jacob answered, "L A B A N." I was afraid because I thought you would take your daughters away from me by by force. But if you find any anyone who has who has your gods, that person shall not live in the presence of of our well in the presence of our of our relatives. See for yourself whether there whether there is is anything. Of yours here with me, and if so, take it. Now Jacob did not know that Rachel had stolen the gods. So, so Elibaim went into Jacob's tent and into Leah's tent and into the tent of the two two female servants, but he found nothing. 
After he came out of Leah's tent, he and he entered Rachel's tent. Now Rachel had taken the household gods and put them inside her camel's saddle and was sitting on them. Elibian searched through, through. Elibian searched through everything in the tent, but found nothing. But found nothing. Rachel said to her father, "Don't be angry, my lord, that I cannot stand up in your presence. I'm having my period, so we searched, but but could not find the household gods." Jacob was angry, and took Elibian to task. What is my crime? He asked. He asked Elibian, "How have, how have I wronged you that you hunt me down? Now that you have searched through all my goods, all my goods, well, what have you you found that belongs to your household? Put it here in front." Of your relatives and mine, and let the and let them judge between the two of us. I have been with you for twenty years now. Your sheep and goats have not miscarried, nor have I eaten, nor have I eaten eaten rams from your flocks. I did not bring you animals torn. But torn by wild beasts, I bore the loss myself, and you demanded payment from from me for 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 whatever was stolen by day or night. This was my situation: the heat consumed me in the daytime, and the cold at night, and sleep fled from from my eyes. From my eyes, it was like this for the twenty for the twenty years I was. In your household, are you? In your household, I worked for you fourteen years for your two daughters and six years for your flocks, and you changed my wages ten times. Ten times. If the God of my father, the God of Abraham, and the fear of Isaac had not been with me, you would, you would surely have sent me, sent me away, away, empty-handed. But God has seen my hardship and the toil of my hands, and last night He rebuked you. Elibian answered Jacob, "The women are my daughters; the children are my children, and the flocks are my flocks. All you see is mine. Yet what can uh, I do? I do. I do today about these daughters of mine, or about the, or about." The children they they are born. Come now, let's make a covenant, you and I, and let and let it serve as a witness between us. So Jacob took a stone and set it up as a pillar. He said to to his relatives, "Gather some stones." So they so they took stones, so they took stones, and piled them in a heap, and they ate there by the heap. L a b a n called it J e g a r s a h s a h a d u t h a, and Jacob called it G a l e e d. L a b a n said, "This heap is a witness between you and me today. That is why it it was called G a l e e d. It was also called M i z p a h." Because he said, "May that may the, may the Lord keep watch between you and me when we are away from each other. If you mistreat my daughters, or if you take any wives beside my daughter, beside my daughters, even though no one is with us, we mem remember that God is a witness between you and me." Elibian also said to Jacob, "Here is this heap, and here is this pillar, and here is this pillar I have set up between you and me. This heap is a witness, and this pillar is a witness that I will, I will not, I will not go, 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 go past this heap, this heap to your, to your side to harm you, and that 
you were in, uh, and that you were not, and that you were not. Go past this heap and pillar to my side to harm me. May the God of Abraham and the God of N A H O R, the God of their father, judge between us. So Jacob took an oath in the name of the fear of his father Isaac. He offered a sacrifice there in the hill country and invited his relatives to a meal. After they had eaten, they spent the night there. Early the 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 next morning, Elibi Ann kissed his grandchildren and his daughters and blessed and blessed them. Then then he left and returned home. Commentary: Rejoice in the sacrifice of God. Have you ever experienced a promise, a promotion that never came, or spent or spent countless wasted hours working late, working late, to complete some thankless task? Have you have you ever been the victim of envy, false accusation, or downright deception? So much in this passage resonates with our day-to-day -day lives and our and our everyday situations of frustration and pain. It is we are sowing to know that that the that the Lord always always has always has the last word. We see a break. We see a breakdown in what. In what was essentially a family business, perhaps Elibi Ann took his took his son-in-law for granted. Certainly, Jacob felt his goodwill. Yeah, his his goodwill had been abused. He he felt Elibi Ann Potvis's attitude to him to him was not was not what it it had been was too. Yet, given his job, one hundred percent effort. He had he had worked with all his strength. I have I have served with all my might and power for six A M P A M P. Jacob's terms of employment have been very tough. His father-in-law had been a been a fairly D R A C O N I A M boss. He had made made he had made Jacob pay for 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 any loss that occurred due due to due to accident or theft by others. Verse thirty nine. His working conditions were very unsatisfactory. Verse forty. Further, he felt cheated. Instead of putting his salary up, Elibi Ann appears. To have to have to have put put it down ten times for seven. Rachel and Leah also felt they had been they had been. Rachel and Leah also felt they had they had been hard done by. They had they had been sold off to Jacob, Jacob, and then watched as their father envied. There has been success, verses fourteen to sixteen. It is understandable that they that they all felt resentment towards L A B A N. However, their response was not very gracious. They all ran off when L A B A N was was out at work. They did they did not give him the opportunity to say goodbye. To his children and grandchildren, verses twenty-six and verse twenty-eight. On top of all that, for some, eh, for some, for some, for some incomprehensible reason, Rachel steals from her father without telling her husband. In spite of all this, God blesses Jacob, but God did not did did not. Allow L A B A N A N to hurt me for seven A M P. He becomes more prosperous than L A B A N. It was actually actually God or God who had to had called Jacob to return home to Isaac. 
and promised him, "I will be with you." Verse three. Although Jacob was doing the right thing, the way it was it was done was not right. Nevertheless, God intervened on his behalf by speaking to to Elibian in a in a dream. Verse twenty four. But for but for that but for that Jacob might Jacob might have been happen happen happen. But for that Jacob might have been sent away empty-handed. Verse forty two. In the end, they navigate a satisfactory settlement. In the midst of this passage, we see hints. Of the foreshadowing of what was to come, both Jacob and both Jacob and Elibi and Ann looked to God for justice. Verse fifty fifty three. Then there is is sacrifice. Verse fifty four. As they see God's justice and offer this sacrifice, we are we are reminded once once more of the cross. Will God's justice and mercy come together? Pray, our Father. Thank you that you are just and merciful. Thank you for the sacrifice of Jesus. Thank you that in times of injustice, I can look to you for protection and mercy. Help me to be merciful as you are, as you are merciful to me. Pippa adds. Genesis chapter thirty one thirty one verse thirty two. What on earth was Rachel doing stealing her father's household gods? And what 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 was what what was L A B A F? And what was L A B A N doing doing having household gods? Rachel Rachel household gods. Rachel had been had been stealing, lying, and dishonoring her father. No wonder God God needed to give us the Ten Commandments. Okay, that's all. Bye.